So the private courses I've videoed so far have been East Lake, Chateau Alain, Sherwood. We did the four courses of the Champions membership in North Georgia. We did the Bridges, Grand Del Mar, and we did Bernardo Heights Country Club. Today is TPC Sawgrass. All right, we made it. We're in Jacksonville, uh, Ponte Vita Beach area, however you say it. And uh, he, he, th there's a few different ways to play sawgrass. One is you'd be a member. It's kind of expensive, obviously. Two is uh, be a guest. That's like how, how I usually go about doing things. You can book a tea time. It's like anywhere from 750 bucks up. All right. So that's for tea time. Or you can stay and play uh, in their hotel. I don't like to stay and play because I don't like hotels. So I do the uh, Airbnb version. This place is pretty dope. I like it. This is a uh, Murphy bed. So you would. Pull out your bed from uh, from here. It's not bad. All right, I like it. Literally got a view of the ocean. And I got a little yard out here. This place is awesome. This place is cool. We're on the ocean. It's about 15 minutes north of Sawgrass Course. So not bad. I'll leave a link for this place. I get nothing for it, but I'll leave a link just in case you like this place and you want to check it out. It's a good spot. I'm super bummed right now. It's Florida. I didn't think there'd be any waves. Uh, the waves are like three or four feet right now. Perfect little break. I, I was this close from bringing my surfboard. Oh, dang. Ah, good morning. Today's the day. Let me make my bed. Not bad. So you get a nice Airbnb, you get to cook your own breakfast. All right. Oh, and a uh, huge shout out to Seven Diamonds for uh, making a lot of these videos possible. Just hooking me up with some awesome clothing. Link in the video description below for y'all and uh, man, love these guys. Great quality, can't say enough about them. But uh, you can check it out for yourself. Let's go party. All right, we're gonna do it a little bit different in this private tour, add a little voiceover, going inside the most epic clubhouse I have ever seen in my entire life. You've seen the outside every year at Sawgrass Tournament, and inside is just as incredible as you would imagine. There were certain areas we could go and couldn't go. I'll give you a look here out on the balcony, which was a spectacular day. Pro shop, not too spectacular, but nice nonetheless, I have to say. And this is a rack of clubs where a lot of the champions would donate one of their clubs after they won. It's kind of the um, riffraff locker room here. And that would be me. But uh, still nice, huh? All right, we won't, we won't do it here, but as a guest, you, you do get access to this locker room here. Cool, nice uh, travertine tiles, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. A member area, I would imagine, is, is much nicer, but for the guest area, it's like an eight out of 10. I like this. All right, enough of that. Going to the most epic range I've ever seen at, uh, as well. like the coolest range I think I've ever been to. Oh 
All right, here we go. First hole. Man, I was so nervous, but managed to uh, stripe a good one right down oh, the man. middle of the fairway. Had a little nine iron left, and this thing was moving quick downhill. So I had a little work, but managed to get par on the first. I would if I could, but I can't. This is Rex. Rex invited me out to play uh, this kind of muni track today. <laughs> Our caddy, Jun? That's it, perfect. What kind of name is that? Japanese. Okay, you're half Japanese, right? Half, yes. Okay. And you're, you're Korean, right? Yeah, I'm Korean. Uh, my wife's Korean. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Good drive here, just pushed it a touch right. The rough is pretty gnarly. And it's a par five, and man, I, I hit one of the shots of the day out of there, and I thought that broke left. It was a good one. Nice little par three here. Pins all the way in the back, and I went flag hunting. Just fired it a little over, right on the back fringe. And that's about a four and a half, five footer for par. Now I'm hitting a five wood here, and uh, this would be the story of my day. So I'm just hacking out on this par four, because there's water short, so. Going to my strength here. A little 54 degree wedge, about 105 yards to the pin and left me this little guy for par. So I think pitching out of the rough was a good idea. Tough par four here, this is a long one. And went left again with my drive, my tee shot into a bunker, but after the last bunker shot, I was feeling pretty good. Just came up a touch short in this thick stuff. So they were overseeded ryegrass and that was no joke. 25 footer for par ended up tapping that in for bogey and on to the next so one over par in this rough but i'm kind of in that like ridge in the grass so i kind of had a good lie the rough on this course is no joke our caddy was telling us that it's much longer now than it will be for the players championship they let it grow and then they cut it for those guys so the lies we're getting in the rough are just ridiculous right now See, this is thick as can be. Over Cedar Rye, Bermuda Greens. Pure. All right, Caddy is telling me it breaks from left to right about a foot. So I missed the line on the left, but it, it definitely didn't break right. It broke. So everybody messed up there. And so I just, yeah, I like making those like that. The question is, what are we going to get on 17? And when did you start thinking about your tee shot there? Mm, two days ago. Two days ago, yeah, it was like a couple days ago on my six hour drive down the whole time. Uh, okay, uh, comment below. Let me know what you think I'm going to get and Rex, all right? And then we'll, um, Rex will t treat the winner, all the winners to a round of golf here. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you won't. <laughs> all right, good little hole here and had a good swing fairway and I'm just trying to get a good rhythm, good tempo and timing here and left myself a good look at birdie, but I didn't hit it. Just just didn't hit the best putt. Yeah. But I'm okay with that. It's a tough hole. Now, part 3. Got the four iron. I missed the green. Chipping up. This, this rough is tough, I'm telling you, Long. I could have made this, but the read just wasn't, I, I, I didn't feel, I ended up making that on to the next. And I'm laying up here on nine. I kind of chunk fatted that four iron and but left myself a, a good look here. I got a wedge in my hand. And man, I love this shot. Just over the trees, right at the flag, clubhouse in the background. This is the coolest shot uh, I've seen so far over these like trees. Yeah. Those oaks with something? Yeah, I think so. The oak tree, in case you're wondering. Some Spanish moss hanging. Spanish moss. I like that. Clubhouse, background. There it is. Yes. Very nice. Got one, finally. Four. Yeah. <laughs> About time. <laughs>
There's a little uh, commercial shoot going on here. Rory McIlroy was in the house. We got Rory McIlroy back there doing a commercial. He kicked us out. He didn't want to be in the video. Whatever. No, we didn't meet him, but he's, over, he's right there. He's hanging out with uh, some other dudes. So I hit a good one here. This is a tough little driving hole. Right. And I just pushed it in this, you know, pine straw on the right. And I hit a good oh, shot out of here. But again, just a short side of myself in the bunker. And yes, man, the greens are tricky. You got to know this course. So bogey here. Good swing here. That felt really good. And in par five, and I'm, I've got the five wood in my hand, and I've been hooking everything, and this one went straight, so. The grass is like a little carpet. I should've hit my ball on it. I'm in this bunker. So I went in this bunker. I'm hitting the 54 degree wedge, long bunker shot for my third shot, and hit pretty good one here. And I'm happy to be putting for birdie after that. And Mr. Reed, Again, I think you got to know this course and these greens. So I've got the three wood here, and every time I hit something other than my driver, I, I'm hooking it right now. And I'm in this thick stuff, but I felt like I could carry the water, and I chunked it just over the bunker, hit the front of the green, and rolled out. Rocking the club car today. Number 031. It's got the nice TPC logo. This is the tournament players. Course. Tan, we've got the nice plexiglass flip up, flip down screen. It's all down today. It's nice and cool and beautiful winter day here in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Nice little cutout bucket seats, pleather style. Nothing special here, just your standard everyday golf cart. I would totally walk here, but cart was included. Caddy's the way to go. Walking with Caddy would be the way to go. Club car. Tempo edition, which is, mm, you know, not, not the other ones. So I had this little guy for birdie. Let's see if I can get another one. Oh, I squeaked it in. Thank you. Part three. And I love following birdies up with bad shots. No, I don't. But chunked it, short of here, chipped up. There's a ridge here I was trying to hit and rolled to the hole and I missed it. And so it rolled the other way up this hill and oh, it went back right. couldn't, again, didn't get a good read. So bogey here. Uh, golf cart review time. Uh, Chrissy didn't want to, do you want to be in the video? Yeah, okay. Here she is. All right, I'm going to take over the guest, guest appearance on here. My hot topics that I sell out here are going to be the transfusion, John Daly. I always like to sell the six pack. What's in that? Okay, so transfusion is going to be vodka. We're going to have a little bit of ginger ale, and then we'll do some grape juice on top of it. And then a little John Daly is going to be a classic vodka with some tea and lemonade mixed in there. And what's a hot seller? Is that it? Um, I would say that Michelob Ultra is also, since it's one of our official sponsors, that's going to be a huge one that we have. <laughs> She's paid to um, say that. The Michelob Ultra seltzers are the things to drink out here as well. How much are those? Uh, those are going to be eight dollars for the seltzer. Oh, you feel good about that? I do. Uh, yeah. This is this is like Las Vegas pricing over here. Okay. Biggest tip you ever got? Um, I would say from one person. Yeah. Or, okay. Oh, I don't know if I should say that out loud. Is it dollars or is it dollars? Same? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I do take gold bars though. Can you say it? Would tell it to me. Um, I would say probably five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's yeah. pretty good. All right, good job. Yeah. All right. That's From one person. And you're out here how many days a week? Usually five to six days a week. Chrissy killing it out here. All right. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. All right. Boy, Chrissy, you are <laughs> natural. All right. So after a few transfusions from Chrissy, I was all ready to rock and roll and striped a good one here. It's a tough hole. And a five iron left. Couldn't believe it, but man, I had two good swings in a row. Chrissy makes a mean transfusion, but it just doesn't help your putting apparently, because I left this short and it was right in the heart. But par on this bad boy is fine with me. We have a delay on this hole. Rory's up there holding us up. Slow player, this guy. They were uh, recreating his magical shot out of the bunker on this hole. And so, Naturally, I had to hit it in the bunker, and um, 
I, I didn't do what he did. As you could tell, I missed it right, short side of myself, and so I got you know, and making bogey, I forgot to out of there. record the next two shots. But. Here we go, uh, 16, then 17, and then 18. So they're the three awesome holes. Short par five, then you know what 17 is. And 18, uh, I've been struggling going laps with my misses, so 18 could be scary. I absolutely smoked this drive. It felt really, really good. Right down the middle, left center of the fairway, and have this five wood, and I'm going for it, baby. I'm not messing around. And once again, I pulled it left, and I was in somewhere I've never seen on TV before. I'm right here. I got this look. I get to kick a field goal. We'll see what we got. So I'm just trying to not go in the water, to be honest with you, and not chunk it. And I probably hit my best short game shot of the day. Hit that little mound and rolled down on the green. So I had a birdie putt. All right, I'm on. And I, I didn't care if it went in or not. I was just happy not to bogey this hole after that second shot. We're teeing off roughly from where the pros do, just off a little off to the side. They don't want us messing up their tee box. I get it. All right, do I make it on the green 135 today. I'm going pitching wedge. Pins in the back, back tier. Ever so slight wind into it. I mean, just, I mean, it's just a tiny bit. Not gonna mess around with it. I have been hitting my wedges so good all day, and then I do this. <laughs> all right, swing one is gone. So I chose to reload from here because. Why not, right? And I hit like the Tiger Woods 94 shot, 94, whatever year that was, and then, or the Rick, the Ricky, the Ricky shot. Fowler yeah, shot. Right. And I'm, I'm barely on. And so I've got this long putt, probably my best putt of the day, to be honest. Two putt from there. Double bogey. Ouch. All right. The wind, this is tricky. The wind is really hard this way. That's why my ball went way that way. You can't feel that on the tee box but it's strong. I started it right at the flag and it blew way to the right side of the green. So, something that uh, you wouldn't know. You can need some local knowledge. You can't feel it on the tee box at all. As a matter of fact, on the tee box, it felt like it was going the other way. So, that's gonna get you. Got me. Yeah, so we voted and um, because we didn't know the wind situation, we technically are counting that as a par. And I even said something about the wind that it wasn't blowing. But it was, should have known based on my second shot on 16. Mm. So you lose your mind out here, that's the problem. Now one of the most beautiful tee shots in all of golf. All right, you just gotta take a swing at this puppy and trust your life. And no, we didn't take par of the last hole. Don't worry about that. Playing by the rules out here. Me and Richard though. I outdrove you, Richard, by half a ball. Huh? Yes, yes, How do you, you feel about yes, that? Yes, you did. <laughs> I'm going to start watching your YouTube. Get better. Good look here. A little nine iron into the final hole. Hit it good. Just tugged it again. Story of my day, I'll tell you. Richard won the closest to the pin contest. Probably not fair. He's, he said he was running on kimchi power. And that's, uh, that's a real thing, by the way, in case you didn't know. Uh, See if we can't roll one in, sneak one in on 18, birdie. Let's rock and roll this thing. It's probably my worst putt of the day. Misread it, hit it five feet short. <laughs> but at least my short putts were good. That I'm grateful for. Played with some awesome dudes out here. And big shout out and thanks to Rex for hosting me in this amazing place. All right, shot of 77, not bad for the first time out here. Uh, 17 got me, a little double bogey there, so uh, that was rough. That was a rough one. And thanks to Rex, huh? He did the little stay and play deal, invited me out to, to hang with him. I didn't stay with him, I just played with him. Thanks, Rex. Yeah. Hope you like the clubhouse. We did something a little different this time. We had the cart Chrissy. Chrissy the cart, I don't, I don't like calling her a cart girl. She's a cart, uh, she's the cart um, beverage professional. Love you guys. Uh, see you in the next video.